All right. I know this is um, kind of impromptu, but I share this message that the Lord gave me on last night, and it actually has really ignited um, such a passion on the inside of me. And I want to share uh, this message to those of you that will hear my voice. Um, my name is Sherry Downs. Welcome to my uh, Facebook Live. Thank you. As you come in, go ahead and share this. I believe what I have to say is going to really be a blessing to you. So um, try to stay to the end because I want to explain what the Lord actually began to speak to me concerning. And I want to share it to those of you that are actually ready to have freedom in your life. Those of you that are ready to obtain the promises of God. I want to share this vision that the Lord began to speak to me concerning um, the path to freedom. Your path to freedom may not look um, conventional. And I want to really just share what the Lord began to um, say to me. And as you come in, go ahead and say hello. Let me know that you are watching. Again, my name is Sherry Downs. I am an author, a speaker, a life coach, a business coach, relationship coach. Uh, I am a believer in the body of Christ. I believe in the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for our sins. I am a wife and I am a mother and I am excited about what God is doing in my generation. I am excited about what God is doing in the body of Christ. Go ahead guys, as you come in, share this to your timeline and share it to your network. So I'm going to actually share this as well. If you would, um, um, share it too. We can get this message out to as many people as possible because I believe that I have something that will help you in your walk, help you to embrace your steps and help you to embrace the road that God has you on. Again, I am Sherry Downs. I'm a prophetess of God and welcome to this Facebook Live. Go ahead and share it. This is impromptu. I had no intention of getting on, but the Lord just began to share some things with me and I want to share those with you. So go ahead and share this to your timeline and to your networks. Go ahead and do that right now. I appreciate you sharing this live feed to your networks and your followers. Hello, Tamika. Thank you for joining. I know it's been such a long time that I've gone live, but I really felt led to get on here and to encourage you to encourage you with this prophetic dream that the Lord gave me last night as I begin to sit and meditate and decode and interpret this dream that the Lord gave me, I felt that I needed to share it with those that will hear my voice. So go ahead and share this to your timeline and share it to your networks. Go ahead and share the video. It's okay. You can hit that share button. Share this video by hitting the share button on your screen to your timeline and to your networks. Type in the comments. It's unconventional. Type in the comments. Come on. Hello, Lisa. Thank you for joining. Guys, stay to the end because I really want you to hear this message. I believe it's going to empower you and impact you and encourage you to keep uh, going in the path that you are going. Many of you feel like that there is more for you. Many of you feel like that there is something higher that God has called you to, that the current climate and the current circumstances that you are experiencing are, um, I'm, I'm going to use this term, beneath you. Type in the comments, it's beneath me. There is an unconventional way that you have had 
had to take. There is an unconventional path that you have had to take. But let me encourage you today with what the Lord spoke to me, the dream, the vision that he gave me. And I believe it is a prophetic word that I am releasing right now to those that will hear, to those that will stay on this live till the end and receive what the Lord has to say through the mouth of his prophet on today. I believe that this message will bless your entire life. Listen, okay, I'm going to share this dream with you and then I'm going to un decode this dream and unpack this dream with you that the Lord began to uh, deliver. So as you come in, guys, let me know you are here. Let me know that you are in here with me and let me see your name in the comments. Let me know where you are from. It's been such a long time that I've gone live because I've just been doing so many things. So I hadn't had the chance to go live, but I felt the leading of the Lord this morning to share this message. Type in the comments. It's unconventional. Where you are living is beneath who God calls you. My God, it's already good. And I haven't really gotten into the meat of what he wants to say. Who, where you are living now, what you are experiencing is beneath who God calls you. Type in the comments, it's beneath me. Type it. Come on, you got to declare that. You have to know that. You have to embrace that. That where I am, it's beneath me. What I'm experiencing is beneath me. Why? Because God has called my name. Mm. Okay, I got to slow down because I really want to unpack this message that the Lord gave me for those that will hear. Are you listening? Type in the comments. I hear you now. Type in the comments. I hear you now. If you're listening and the Lord has been stirring you and the Lord has been showing you that there is a higher place of living for you, this message is for you. It is beneath you where you are living, how much money is in your bank account, those that are around you, what you're experiencing, the results that you're getting, it is beneath you. Why? Because God calls you beautiful. God calls you the apple of his eye. God calls you created being. God calls you wonderful. He said it was good when he created man because he created you a new creation. And when you accepted Jesus Christ, as your personal savior, you were adopted into the body of believers and you now have an opportunity to walk out in your wildest dream, a destiny that you could not have thought of on your own. God, it's beneath me. You cannot afford any longer to play small. You cannot afford any longer to downplay who you are in God. Can you hear me? Are you listening? Who is this for? This message is for somebody because the Lord began to stir me and tell me to get on here and share the word of the Lord. Okay, let me get into this dream. Can you hear me now? Are you listening? Are you listening? Can you hear me? Type in the comments. It's unconventional. It's beneath me. What you are experiencing is beneath you. What you have around you is beneath you. What the results that you are getting is beneath you. Okay, so all throughout the Bible, God was calling men and women to a higher place of destiny. He was calling men and women to partner with him. And I believe that the Lord God is doing that in such a strategic way in the time frame that we are living in. Okay? So let me tell you this dream that I had last night. In this dream... I was walking up. My mom used to have this house on Liberty Street. Type in the comments. 
I hope y'all hear me. Stay to the end because I'm going to unpack this dream for you and tell you what God is saying, not only to me, but those that will get on this live, those that will watch the replay. I believe this message is for those that have an ear to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Type in the comments, Liberty Street. Come on, begin to allow your faith to step into this moment to hear God. Okay, so my mom used to have this house on Liberty Street. And in this dream, I was standing at the base of a stairway type stairway, Liberty Street stairway. So here, Liberty Street, the house that my mom lived in, you had to go upstairs in order to get inside the house. There were several stairs that you had to go up and they led you inside the house. There was a door that was right at the top of the stairway. And oftentimes in dreams, stairway can signify a promotion. Stairways can signify the path that you have to take to enter in. And most of us are trying to enter into the next place. You are trying to enter into the next place of, in socioeconomic status. You are trying to enter into the next place of ministry. You are trying to enter into the next place of your business. You are trying to enter into the next place of freedom. Type Liberty Street. What does Liberty mean, right? The Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. My God today, share this video. I believe, listen, that in this dream, okay, let me, let me bring it back to show you guys the message that the Lord began to give me last night. And I tell you, as I sat with the Lord, he began to unpack this message and, and he told me to get on here and release it to the body of Christ because many are looking for the way of freedom. Mm, my God, many people are looking for freedom from DNA. People are looking for freedom from past issues. People are looking for financial freedom. People are looking for freedom. So the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So Liberty Street, there was a stairway that in, 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 in reality of this house that the Lord took me back to in the dream, this stairway led up to the entryway to the home. Hear me. But here is the catcher. Mm, my God. Y'all ready? Tight stairway. Are you ready? You got to stay on to hear this message. Okay. So as I'm standing in this dream at the base of the stairway that should have been there. Mm, my God. Hear this in the spirit. The base of the stairway that should have been there. It was gone. There was no stairway that in reality is there in my dream. The stairway wasn't there. Mm, my God today. Uh, uh, type in the comments, the unconventional way. It's unconventional. It's not like the norm. The path that God wants you to take, Verletta. It is not like the normal way. Oh my God, I feel, I feel the power of God. Do y'all feel that? I feel the power of God, even just sharing this message, even just releasing this word. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit all on it. And for those that will embrace what the Lord is saying, I feel like the Lord is saying that he's getting ready to take you to that place of freedom. So let me tell you, in this dream, the stairways were gone. All it was was just concrete rubble. And I was like, how do I get to the doorway? Mm, my God, how do I get to the doorway? Share this video. Share it. Share it. Share it. It is going to bless 
somebody else. And I'm not saying that because it's me. I'm saying that because this is the word of the Lord for, for this day, for this moment. Somebody was discouraged. Somebody woke up because you don't see a way. Mm, my God, Jesus. Somebody on here, type in the comments, that's me, prophetess. Type in the comments, somebody that's listening right now, you woke up discouraged because you know that there is more for you. You know that you're living beneath who God called you to be and what's on the inside of you. You're too gifted to be getting the results that you're getting. Jesus. Okay. So let me take you guys back to this dream. Okay. In this dream, there should have been a stairway leading up to the door of, Li of Liberty Street. This house that was on Liberty Street. Type Liberty Street equals freedom. Okay? So this house, this place of dwelling that was on Liberty Street. Liberty Street equals freedom. Many are searching for freedom in so many different areas. But you don't understand your road or the way to freedom, which should have been the stairway. Listen here. Listen to me. Listen to me. Type, I'm listening, prophetess. Type, I'm listening. If this message is for you, type, I'm listening, okay? So the, the, the stairway to freedom was not there. The stairway was not there. So then I'm standing, you guys, share this message. I'm standing at the base of where I need to go to get inside the house that sits on Liberty Street. My God, today, there is a place of freedom that God wants to bring not only you, Verletta, not only you, Bishop Melvin, but the body of Christ. He wants to bring us to such a place of freedom and expansion, okay? My God. So, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to figure out at the base of this stairway in my dream, in this vision, how do I get from where I am to where I need to be? If, if you, oh Jesus. Okay, so I'm standing there trying to figure out. Then, listen here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. A strategy comes to me. Type in the comments, I need strategy. Mm. My God, type that in the comments. I need strategy. It's not the fact that you understand that your name is bigger than where you are. What you're getting is not what God has for you. What you're experiencing is not the place that God wants you to be. That, but, but listen, you need strategy to take, here it is, the unconventional route, okay? So the route that would normally happen, which would, in, in, in all aspects, we would just take the stairs to get to the door, right? But in this dream, I had to think, I had to find a strategy in order to get to the door because the normal way of going was not fair. Listen, God is releasing strategy in order for us to get to the place, the ordained place of freedom, the ordained place of purpose, the ordained place of who he says you are. The last couple of days, the Lord has just really been unpacking the imposter syndrome. The Lord has been unpacking so many individuals that are living beneath who God says they are. So in this dream, I was like, okay, I need a strategy, Tiffany, on how to get from here to there because I could not get into the place on Liberty Street. I could not dwell on Liberty Street except I have a strategy to go an unconventional route. So I end up coming in this dream 
with a strategy on how to get to listen here there's two steps i need a strategy on how to how to get to the door which this um in this dream the stairway was gone so i couldn't take the conventional route i had to find an unconventional route mm. your destiny the steps that you have had to take they have been unconventional People don't understand it. People can't put their finger on it. People can't track it because God has taken you, type in the comments, an unconventional route. You've had to take the unconventional route. You've had to take the route that others deem unconventional others say no you can't do it like that no it doesn't happen that way no it's impossible to get to that door based off of where you are but listen god is releasing strategy he's giving you strategy to get to the place of freedom where your family is free where your money is free where your ministry is free where your children are free where you're free free in your mind you are free in your heart you are free in your spirit he is trying to get you to the route of your destiny but you cannot access it if you're looking for the route that others have taken stop looking at the pattern and start asking god for a strategy oh my god type in the comments I need strategy. You can't go where you want to go trying to do it like they did it. You can't go where you're trying to go trying to follow in the path that others followed. You have to trust your route. You have to trust the path that God has you on. You have to trust your past, the things that you've come through, the things that you experience. You got to trust that all things will work together for my good type in the comments it's been for my good it's been for my good okay let me finish unpacking this dream because there's more type in the comments there's more so in this dream because i'm just so like a bulldog i just don't i don't i, I just I'm, I'm just so full of faith for the things that god speaks and because he is so real to me and I have such an, a powerful relationship with God. I take risk. Type in the comments, I gotta take risk. Tiffany, you gotta start taking risk, girl. Chanel, you gotta start taking risk. Ruby, it's time to be a water walker. It's time to take the risk type in the comments i gotta take the risk so in this dream i end up with a strategy on how to go an unconventional route so this is what i did i went up sort of like on the side way to the house but listen this house on liberty street the place of freedom which did not have stairs and normally there's stairs it's a steep mm, it's a place that I gotta climb. So listen, mm, I just I just got greater revelation. Y'all ready for this? Chanel, are you ready for this? I climbed on the rubble. Oh my God. I had to climb, share this video. I had to climb on top of the rubble. I had to climb on top of the stairs, which are in reality concrete, but the stairs weren't there. All it was, was rubble. Mm. Oh, Jesus. So, so, so in this dream, I needed a strategy, but I had to, God said, and, and, and I'm just going to uh, 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 say it like this. God said, climb on top of the rubble. Some of you are looking because you see a trail behind you. You see brokenness. But God says, ascend, daughter. Ascend, son. Climb on top of the broken pieces. Climb on top of the things that didn't work before. Climb on top of the pain. Climb on top of the 
the rejection. Climb on top of everything that's been said against you. It's time to get on top of these things so that you can gain victory and get to the door of freedom. So this house that normally sits on Liberty Street that did not have stairs, which is a normal route to get somewhere, I had to find an unconventional route. So as I began to climb the rocks, the rubble, uh, uh, I, I ended up at the doorway. But, but catch this. Here's the kicker. You notice I'm meeting resistance in order to get to the place of freedom, right? So in this dream, I get to the doorway, Tiffany, but when I get to the doorway, Mark, there's no door. Oh my God. All I saw in this dream was this small little narrow opening i saw it, it, it almost looked like a doggy door type in the comments the narrow way the narrow way so there was resistance and opposition in the path but soon as i get to the door of the house of freedom my god today there is a small narrow door which looks like a doggy door there was no big door that welcomed me there was nobody there no butler standing there to open the door and say welcome ma'am stop believing the fairy tale stop believing the uncon that that your route won't be hard that the enemy is not going to fight you tooth and nail that you won't be uh, uh walking on broken pieces believe god and ask for strategy on how to get to the place of freedom because guess what the enemy doesn't want you there but once you get in my god today okay so in this dream, did you, did you, did you share, did, Tiana, did you share, who's a sharer? Tiffany, did you share, Chanel, did you share, share the video? So, whoo, I feel, I feel it, I feel the wind of God on this video, okay. So, when I get to the door, Chanel, there's no door. Thank you for sharing, Chanel. Thank you for sharing, Verletta. So there's no door. Thank you, Tiffany, for sharing. So there's no door. And I had to, I saw a small, narrow, almost like a doggy door that I needed to go in. And it was like, listen here, y'all. People were watching me. Mm. But nobody gave assistance. Nobody gave assistance on how to get to this door, how to get up these stairs. Thank you for sharing, Tiana. So this is what I did because I have, so, I, I'm a risk, I'm a risk, I'm a risk. I, I, I take risk. I have so much faith that if God says it, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> I'm like, okay, God, let's go. We're about to do this. So here I am. In this dream, people were like, she can't do it. She can't get through that door. Because it was like a doggy door. And it looked small. Mm, mm, mm. It looked small. The entryway into the house of freedom that sits on Liberty Street, right? And so I take my body and I slide through the door. But catch this, mm, my God. In the dream, it was like the door conformed to my body. In this dream, this small doggy door, which did not look like it, I could fit through it, started conforming to my body and I was able to get through the door and on the other side, I heard people say, how did she do that? My God, guess what? If you trust God, if you're willing to take the risk, if you're willing
willing to go the unconventional route while people are looking at you, while people are wondering how it's going to happen, while you wonder how is anything good going to come out of my life, while you take the unconventional route and start walking on those broken pieces to the doorway of freedom, which is the doorway of your destiny, God's going to cause that narrow place to open up for you and your gifting is going to make room for you. God's going to cause you to step into your new identity. God's going to cause you to step into your new destiny. God's going to cause you to step into abundance. God's going to cause you to bless your children and your children and your children's children and those that are around you. And God's going to cause you to step into a large place. So then there's more. Type in the comments. Type there's more. But there's more. My God today. So, 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 Tiana, once I get in the house, my mother is in the house. Mm. Type in the comments. You in the house. <laughs> my mother is in the house. And when I get inside the house, she starts... Listen here, y'all, the house that sits on Liberty Street that did not have stairs, that I had to take the unconventional route, go through the narrow door that just appeared and made room for me. Now I get inside the house and my mother starts making room for me. She starts saying, you take the larger room. And, and, and in this dream, I had my daughter with me. She starts saying, you take the larger room. Let me make room for you. Let me stretch things out. Let me make space for you. Let me tell you something, Tisha. The Lord is bringing his people, those that will dare to believe, those that will take the unconventional route, those that won't care who's looking, those that will obey God, even though you can't trace him, obey him, even though you don't understand, those of you that will say yes and walk on those broken pieces, walk on what didn't work, who said what, walk on your DNA, walk on your socioeconomic status, walk on that past that you have that the enemy tries to hold you captive to. If you'll trust God, he says, once you get through the door, I, 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 so I, I know this as I interpret my dreams in the dream, a woman can sign signify Holy Spirit. Mm. My God today, type in the comments, it's in me. <laughs> it's inside of you. So, so Holy Spirit, start making room for me in this dream. Holy Spirit, start making room in this dream, not only for me, but for my seed too. My God today. So she start making room for me to dwell in the house of freedom. God is bringing us to a place of expansion. God is bringing us to a place of freedom. God is bringing us to a place of freedom in every area of our lives. But guess what? We gotta take the un conventional route. You got to trust him. You got to obey even when you don't understand. You got to obey even when you've never seen rain. Ah, oh, my God today. Are there any water walkers on here today? Is there anybody that believes what God has said? What God has spoken? God has called you by name. God has called you. He has purpose. He has destiny. Will you believe him and take the unconventional route? Will you believe him and tread upon serpents and scorpions and everything that will try to hinder you from getting to that door? But guess what? It's just not getting to the door, but it's knowing that he will make the, he will cause you to go inside the door where there may not be a way. He will make a way. He says, I'll make rivers in the desert for you. I'll make a, a way in the wilderness. I'll make rivers in the desert. God will make a way, Chanel, where there seems to be no way. 
So you got to get out of your own way. Stop doubting what's on the inside of you. Stop doubting who God calls you to be. Stop doubting what God says about you. Stop doubting the identity that God is calling you. He said, come up higher. My God. Type in the comments. I'm coming up higher. I had to get on here. Wasn't that so good? I had to get on here and I had to release that word because it was on me so heavy to share that with the body of Christ that God has a house of freedom. And in this house of freedom, once you get there, he's making room. Type in the comments. He's making room. He's making room. All I have to do is believe him and take the unconventional route. All I have to do is believe him and stand and climb on the trauma, climb on the dirt, climb on the rubble, come up higher in order for me in this dream to get to the door, which there wasn't a conventional door. I had to go through a narrow place and there were onlookers. Let me tell you this. People are watching. Mm. People are watching. Some are rooting for you. And some are ruling against you. But it doesn't matter because the house of freedom is ordained just for you. Stop doubting who God says you are. Step into every word by faith. Believe it by faith. If God tells you to start a business, get the paperwork ready. If God tells you to move across state lines, start searching for a place. Start looking at jobs. If God tells you to do it, step out on faith. One act of faith in obeying God will get you to the house of freedom, the place of freedom. People are looking for freedom in this hour. And, and let me tell you something. It's not always the conventional route. Sometimes you got to take an unconventional route. Guess what? Because your destiny is unconventional. Because your blessings are unconventional. Because the breakthrough is unconventional. Why? Because somebody in your bloodline didn't do it before. So God has raised you up to do it. Step through the narrow way. Step through the narrow way. Come on, attach your faith to that. I'm going through the narrow way. I'm choosing God's route. I'm choosing to climb on top of the trauma. I'm choosing to climb on top of the betrayal. I'm choosing to climb on top of being misunderstood. I'm choosing to climb on top of oppression, depression, sickness, disease, calamity, financial issues. I'm climbing on top. I'm coming up higher. God called Israel by name but they had to let go of how they did things before in order to step into who God called them to be. I want to encourage you, step in to who God has called you to be. I am excited about our upcoming conference. I'm excited about uh, the coaching and mentoring uh, on my website. You, I am a life coach, a business coach, relationship coach. Uh, you can go to www.touchdownsenterprise.com uh, and register for any of our, our coaching plans, any of that good stuff. But I had to get on here and share and just encourage you guys with what the Lord released unto me. It wasn't that so powerful, Tiffany. He released that unto and he said some more things that I'm going to share on my YouTube channel as well. Um, I'm going to release those things on my YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you might want to go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe that because I'm going to be doing a video with the other thing God told me last night, which is so, so powerful. I I'm telling you guys, this thing, it woke, these things that the Lord showed me last night 
woke me up and they were just sitting on me heavy. And as I sat before the Lord, I just began to decode and interpret the things that he was saying. And um, as I was getting dressed, the Lord said, get on and release that word. And I'm like, I haven't been on uh, social media on, on Facebook live in a while. He's like, obey, get on and, and release that word. And for those of you that will hear this word of the Lord, I pray that you are blessed, inspired, motivated, encouraged, and mobilized. I pray that you are mobilized mobilized to move into the next dimension of your destiny and of your purpose, stepping into everything that God calls you. If he calls you writer, you're stepping into it. If he calls you a, a podcaster, you're stepping into it. If he calls you wife, you're stepping into it. If he calls you pastor, if he calls you evangelist, prophetess, if he calls you the gift of helps, whatever he calls you, if he calls you daughter, if he calls you son, I want you to step into everything that God says about you. Stop playing small. It's time to put your faith in action. It's time to go the unconventional route. I pray that this blessed you. Father, I thank you for my brothers and sisters that are on here, that are watching live and those that will watch the replay. I pray, Father, that they will begin to step into the destiny that you have ordained for them. I pray, Father, that they would trust you to take the unconventional route and that they would use the brokenness. They would use the betrayal. They would use the, the, the shame to their uh, betterment. They will begin to step on those things that crumbled in the past and that they would keep climbing and keep ascending to the doorway of freedom. And I pray, Father, when they get to that door, that they will have faith to step in knowing that you are with them. For those that are not believers, I pray, Father, that you would deal with their hearts, that they would give Jesus Christ their heart now while the blood is running warm in their veins. If they would believe with their hearts, confess with their mouth, believe with their hearts, the Lord Jesus Christ has uh, died and was buried and rose from the grave three days later by the power of God. And he is the son of God that they would accept him into their hearts and believe it by faith and that they will be adopted into the body of believers. I pray that you are blessed. If you did not watch this full Facebook live, go back and watch the replay because I'm sure that it will bless you. Again, www.touchdownsenterprise.com. I love you with the love of the Lord and I love you with my love because I believe we all should just have a natural love for humanity and we should have agape love. Be blessed.